Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 15 of Zero Builds an Empire in The Last Federation. So, last time, we uh, had just brought the Evux into our Federation. Unfortunately, that caused the Union of Independent States to be formed between the Acutians, the Burlests, and the Borines. So before we can really continue too far with our Federation, we need to break this up. Now, unfortunately, to do this, we basically need to make these people hate each other. Uh, which is going to be a little bit dif uh, difficult. So I think the first thing we need to do, if we take a look at our race relations, let's say, for instance, if we were to start with the Borines. So we don't want them to like the Burlesks anymore. Well, they built up quite a bit of quite a bit of liking there, but we could uh, we could tear that down pretty quick, I'm sure. Same thing between them and the Acutians. You know, there's even more liking there. What we need to do is we need to go to the to the various planets, at least the ones where we can build stuff, like for instance, we can't build anything on the Acutian planet, because they don't like us enough. But uh, there's not really much we can do about that, I mean, as long as we can bring it down so that there's only one person left, we should be okay. What we need to do is we need to go into our friendly axe and we need to start building stuff. So if I go property development, now I need to build something that will cause that Skylaxian... Nope, that's exactly the opposite of what we want. Let me see... Nope. Burles and Thoraxians. Eh, let's see if we can find one that's a little better. No, again, the exact opposite of what we want. Nope. That's Burles and Evux, which... Eh, oh wait, no, but again, that's going in the wrong direction. Sorry, I've been looking at the wrong ones. Let me back up here for a second. Okay, so that one's Skylaxians, Thoraxians, that's no good. This one's Evux, so that's no good. This one is Burles and Thoraxians, which is decent, but I want to see if we can find one for Burles and Acutians. This is Andors and Skylaxians, so that's really not what we want. Andors and Peltians, again. Peltian and Skylaxians. Galaxian Andors, Peltians Burlists. Uh, that one's... That one's actually, would actually be pretty good. It would boost their opinion towards the Skylaxian and the Evux. Or boost the Skylaxian's and, and Evux opinion of them. And would hurt the Burlists. That might be one to think about. Here we go, Burlist and Acution. That's exactly what I want. Let's take a look, see if there's anything... Okay, nope. So it's the Pastoral Hideaway then that we need to build. So we're going to start building this. Oh, what was that? Uh, looks- oh, the- Wow, the Andors have gone from, like, a ridiculous number of outposts to nothing. That's, uh, that kind of sucks for them. What else do we have here? The Burles are attacking the Thraxians again. And the Borines are attacking the Skylaxians. Huh. That's interesting. Let's see... Okay, well, let's finish up our property development and see if we can't put a, an end to that. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the Skylaxians might be in a bit of trouble on that one. Maybe I should have tried to end that war before. Yeah, there goes the... Wow. <laughs> Alright, okay, so we finished that. Let's see if we can't uh, talk to the... Let's see if we can't talk to the Borines and see if we can't get them to end that war. Military deal. Stop attacking another race. Galaxians. I don't have enough credits. Uh, they need to be either, either on defense or solar or want, desiring solar unity. Hmm. All right, let's take a look then. Maybe we can end this war by bringing in another race to help against the Borines. Let's see if we can't get the Andors to help out. That might be a bit of a tall order considering what these people are like. All right, general agenda. That's not what I want. Nope. That's... Speech, it's not what I want. 
Alright, can I... Un what would I need to do to bring somebody else in? Peace Brokers. Uh, Broker Truth. Oh wait, what's this? Send Peacekeepers. What would this do? Positive public- Ah, oh, that's public order. It's not what I want. Alright, so that's no good. Let's go to the- talk to the Peltians. Maybe we can get them to help. Military deals. Attack another race. The Borine. Okay, so... That would cost me 100 voting proxies, which is not a problem. The... Peltians would like me more, apparently, which... cool. The Burlesque would dislike me a little bit. I'm not sure why that would be. Apparently the Borines are perfectly okay with this. Alright, let's see if we can't do that. Just to weaken them a little bit. That should now have another war going on. Yep. Alrighty, so that's me. That was the manufacturing outposts. That was the... of uh, another... Yeah, okay, that was the outpost again. Outpost. Alright, that was- that's all. We already know about all of that. Alright, so that's got... another force arrayed against them. Let's see, that's quite a bit of armada power there. Let's take a look at how things are going here. So, for instance, the Skylaxians have 138 space power, whereas the Borines have 5,000. Jeez. Okay. That could be a little bit of a handicap to have to overcome. Where are the Evux? Maybe if we could bring them in? Nah, they don't have anything either. I wasn't expecting the Borines to get so warlike so quickly. Hmm. That is a problem. Let's come over here. Friendly Axe. And... I could try to defend it. The Borines wouldn't hate me too much for doing so. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, so I don't know how much I'm actually gonna be able to help here. Uh, da -da. Foul mother of Red Rash! Just look at all those enemies! Think you can win this one? Well, maybe you can. You have some pretty awesome tech. Then again, engagements like this can go south super fast, so be careful in any case. In any case, this may simply be an impossible battle to win, and even if this one isn't the next time you see a dozen enemy flagships arrayed in front of you, that one might be. So listen up, your goal isn't always to win. Whatever damage you do to the Armadas here is permanent, so if you can't destroy everyone here, you can certainly give them a really bad day. Figure out how you can best do the most damage, do it, then withdraw before you're overwhelmed. It's not retreat, it's tactics. Okay, so... Those are the Borine ships. There are a lot of them. I'm gonna start off right away with a gravity missile to really do some damage. Oh, right. That was actually pretty good. Can I do that again? Oh, nice! Alright. So that has certainly, uh... Certainly hurt them. And maybe made this battle an impossible to win one into one I might stand a chance. I have one more gravity missile left. And but we're gonna save that. It's nice to have that big AoE weapon. Now before we get moving, we're gonna get out some fighters to help us here. I don't really care about their escape pods right now. It would be nice, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill myself trying to get them. And this is our first target right here. So we're like four or, or three or four turns into the battle already, and we haven't even moved. Alright, let's, uh... This guy doesn't seem to be moving. I'm not sure why, but I'm not also not going to question it too much. Avoid the orange things. Is it, are his shields now? Energy blaster... No, they're still up. Alright, we're going to bump up our shields a little bit as we head through this wall. Just to make sure it didn't hurt too bad, and it still did, so, you know, there's that. Ah, uh, shields are going down. Are his shields down yet? Yes, they are. Excellent. Alright, get nice and close for the gravity lance. 
Okay, uh, I'll power to the shields. Nope, I wanna- I do wanna move. And grab the lance. i gonna take over their ships. Yes, I can. There we go. Let's also get some ships out of my own, just to act as some bullet fodder. And then hopefully we can get this guy dead here pretty soon. Oh, I don't like being locked in place like that. Gravity missile away. There we go. Let's see, what else do we have here? Droughtwave virus. We've already used both of our operations. Alright. Well, I guess we just keep, uh, keep moving and try to do as much damage here as we can. I mean, we have taken out quite a few of their ships already, so... Even if I have to withdraw at this point, I think it was a rather successful operation. These Skylaxians will still probably lose their outpost. But I didn't honestly think I was going to be able to stop that. Nope. Get nice and close, because I want to do this. Thank you. Alright. Okay. Okay, time to leave. So let's see. They lost... The Borines lost 1,702 effective power. Which is really good. But how does that affect their power here? Yeah, it hasn't broken them. But hopefully, it's enough that I can... Oh, what do we have here? Thraxians joint ground invasion against the Burlists. If one of the Thraxians will like me a little bit more, which could be helpful. Maybe if I can make the Thraxians like me enough, I can bring them in. To the Federation. Uh, 50 million Thraxian troops from Lugos will land as resistance fighters on the Burlesque planet Orovar. The Burlesque will hate me a little bit, which is not too hard to get back. I just have to go in and kill one of them. And the Burlesque will like me... Wait, what's this? Oh, that's towards the Thraxians. They'll like the Thraxians less, which doesn't really bother me too much. Oh, wait, I've, I'm remembering right. Yeah, we are behind in a few techs, so maybe I should... Ah, uh, you see, I can't really take the time away from this war right now. I can't afford to have the Borines wipe out the Skylaxians, which is exactly what they're gonna do if, uh... if they're allowed to continue like this. So we're gonna go over here real quick, because I just want to get these guys trending up in their public order again. Just so that can't, uh... become too much of an issue. All right, let's see if we can't bring the Evux into this one. What would it take for you guys to attack the Borines? That would make the Evux like me a little bit more. The Skylaxians would like me less. Why? I'm doing this to help you people. Oh my. Oh, whatever. It's only 10. That's easy enough to make up somewhere else. Um... This will temporarily increase the credit cost of the Evux by about 300, which... But you know what? Every little bit of help I can get in this war is probably for the best. What I really need to do is just array so much against the Borines that we wipe out a good portion of their power base. Now, speaking of, let's go back here. Oops, that's the wrong button. Let's go back here and see if we can't do a little bit more damage by jumping back into this battle. And the first thing we're going to do is gravity missile. And then we're going to speed up. Try to get down here so we can get a gravity missile into this group. Ahahaha, <laughs> don't like it and stop like that. Alright. Could I grab a gravity missile there? I could, but let's do it. There's a few more dead. And you know what? I'm gonna move a little bit more forward. And we can just spread shot. Oh, those aren't enemies. Um, Alright, focus on... I don't know, that guy. Ah ha ha, don't like those. Move forward. Alright, gravity missile. Alright. So that's done a fair amount of damage to them, which is exactly what I like to see. At this point, we're gonna just try to do as much damage as we can before we have to leave. Hopefully I can bring the Borines down enough that the Skylaxians won't have much of a problem with them before I need to start focusing on getting my technologies researched again. Because unfortunately... What's this guy weak to? Still the energy blaster. Unfortunately, the Skylaxians won't stand a chance without my help in this war. 
And I can't afford to let my Federation be weakened like that. Oh, that really hurt. Alright, all power to the shields. What's this guy? Gravity Missile, Gravity Lance. So we'll switch back over to that. We're gonna do a shortwave virus to take over all those. Oh, shoot. Those orange missiles hurt like a son of a... Alright, so they lost a fair amount of power there again, 2011, which is good. Hey, someone got the black bubbles. The video feed, this is pretty crazy. You have to come see. Hey, someone got the black bubbles. The video feed, if this is pretty crazy, you have to come see. Okay, so we have the black bubble. Oh, the Skylaxians really didn't need that right now. Alright, so the Skylaxians have black bubbles. Oh, but the Borines also have black bubbles. So that might, uh, that might change their mood and maybe I can use that to end the war. Alright, action ended. Um... What? Alright, whatever. So the Borines destroyed outposts. Power base formed. 500 million AFA on a Federation planet. The Skylaxian race had over 500 million AFA insurgents and demonstrators on a single Federation planet. These unhappy citizens have decided to flee the Federation en masse and have formed five new pirate bases. Five! And it looked like that happened twice. Yeah, we have ten pirate bases we need to deal with. Jeez. Oh, and now the Acutians are getting in on this fight. Ugh. The Skylaxians are just getting kicked around right now. Uh... Alright, that's what we already did. Ah, losing that fight and being taken out of the, the... ...balance of power for so long really... ...really hurt. So let's see what we got going on here now. If I open this up... Yeah, we haven't even really done too much of a dent against the Borines. Maybe, as I said, maybe now that they have the black bubbles, maybe I can convince them to stop. Population. Let me see. Stop attacking another race. I don't have enough credits. Wow, they want a lot of credits for that. And they don't even have the right mood. Um... I'm hoping that if I put enough, uh... enough damage against them. Maybe I can actually assassinate this regent? Let's see here. Alright, we're gonna recruit an informant. So if I can assassinate this uh, regent, maybe we can get a regent that has a more... Um, useful attitude. Alright, so we're gonna come over here, we're gonna just get the Peltians on a better track than what they're doing right now, which We'll just get them to reverse their current trend. Okay, the Skylaxians are in a bit of a pickle here. And we really, really need to help them out here, so Friendly Axe. Help defend the planet. Again, though, this is, uh... One of those situ- oh, and they're so spread out that I can't even really think about using my, um... Gravity missiles, at least not to the effect that I have been in the last couple of battles. Alright, let's, um... Let's just start working on targets, and... Now, the Skylaxians here will have enough power that they can help us out, so maybe it won't be as bad as the last few battles have been. We're gonna shortwave virus those ships. Oh, oh, man! Those freaking orange shots, man! Yeah, I accomplished nothing other than to take myself out of the battle. Video feed if this is pretty crazy. You have to come see. Alright, Skylaxians have the black bubbles again. Uh, I don't know what to do here, guys. I mean... The Skylaxians have such a force arrayed against them. I mean, yeah, we have... Four races in the Federation, but the unfortunate thing is... The three races that aren't possess enough power to be 
to be able to take on the Federation, and at this point, without some major intervention by me, which we've seen how well that's gone, to win. Ah, I don't know what to do here. Maybe... Let me see. See, I can't even bring the Andors in at this... Uh, let me see. Yeah, if I wanted to go between, like, the Borines and the Skylaxians, that would cost a re more credits than I think I'll ever have. The Peltians are already in the war, the Evux are already in the war, the Skylaxians are the ones getting the absolute living crap kicked out of them. Our only hope is to try to bring the pressure off from one direction or another. Unfortunately... The Borines don't really seem... Here we go, let's see. Assassinate... I can assassinate the Borine Regent. It'll cost me a fair number of credits to do. But she will die. Oh, that's gonna hurt my... Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, she's just a little snow werewolf pig lady thing. Fine. If you want to have her killed, there are plenty of potential successors to the Regency who will do it for you. I'll find one and we can pay them off. You know what else is funny? If you can't- if you kill her, the Borines will probably go to war with whatever race they have the lowest attitude towards that isn't in an alliance with them. That could be useful, I guess. Ah, uh, see that's not gonna help. They're just gonna go right back to attacking the Skylaxians again. Let's see, I can hire bioterrorists. Uh, let me see. It'll take one solar month, it'll cost me 5,000 credits. I will inflect up, inflict, infect, up to 10 million of the population. Some people will like me, some people will hate me. The Borans will really hate me for that. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Anybody that can do this? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot I can really do to force the Borines off of their current, uh... Oh, and they don't like me enough to even listen to me anymore. Which, you know, is fun. Here, have your prisoners back. At least that'll bring me back up to the point where I can... ...hopefully give them some military advice, but again... ...it's 272,000 credits right now to make them stop attacking these Galaxians. Alright, at this point, we're not really helping anybody with how weak we are. We are so far behind. So we're gonna go up here to the Andors. And we're going to... Do they already know their technology, or do I need to learn it from them? Or do I need to research it with them? Alright, so I need... This one. The hull strength of all uni-scale ships, which I believe is what I needed, right? I'm just gonna double-check that. Don't want to waste a whole bunch of money for something I don't need. Yep. Alright. So if I go Friendly Axe here... If I go... Where is it? Cooperative Research... This is 156 month, I can't go longer than 60. So I need to bring that down... By... 90... Uh... 94? Yeah. That's gonna be a lot of scientists. So I need... 45 for this. And that's gonna cost me 22,000 credits. Well, gotta do what you gotta do. 
But I'm not gonna have enough to frickin' do the other research. Oops, that's construction. Oh wow, I still can't do the- oh okay, I just need to hire a few more. Jeez, this is expensive. Whoops. Well, we'll get one done at least. Let's bring in, say, ten more. And now I am officially, well, not officially broke, but close enough. Alright, we're gonna get the defensive upgrade. And now we just need to kind of wait things out. Hopefully the Skylaxons will be able to fight off what's kind of, what are, what's a raid against them at the moment, but I don't know. I mean, they're losing forces faster than what the people are sending them at them, so... Yeah, and there go all their space forces. What do we got here? Drug research gone bad for the Peltians, that's not good. Scientific breakthrough on Lycan for the Andors. Uh, Andor's got GI defensive upgrade, and the Evox got bomblet submunitions. I think the Skylaxians might be in trouble here, guys. I think they might be in trouble. Uh, Thraxians got mind reading. Wonderful. The problem is they're up against the Borines, and the Borines are just nasty in combat, and they get nastier as it goes. Yeah, they're... Alright, well they've kicked the ground forces off their planet, which is good. Alright, the Skalaxians have a disease, a uh, vaccination. Which is good. Vaccine for the black bubbles. New hydro signal, I don't have the time for that right now. This galaxian's got uh, computers. Looks like they have a space presence again. Uh, what's this? A quest from the Evux. Prison guard, crime is rampant on my planet, the Evox higher-ups are not listening to me. I have solid intel that an inmate made at one of our detention facilities is on the brink of escaping and launching a massive biological attack. Oh, this damn quest again. God sakes. Alright, if I do it, the Borines, the Burles, and the Thraxians will like me a bit more. The Evox will not, will not like me a bit more and gain a bit of betrayal. But if I don't, one point, or one hundred and seventy-eight, one hundred, seven hundred and eighty-three million will die. But you know what? I think they have the population to withstand it, and I have more important things to worry about right now. So, reject. Alright, carry on. That may have been a mistake, but honestly, the Bora or the Evux are not the ones in trouble right now. It's the Skylaxians. Let's see if we can't finish off that research nice and quick. Skylaxians. Skylaxians want a closer look at the Hydro Tech, which I will do as soon as this technology finishes complete. Uh, finishes. And then we'll go over there and see if we can't help them defend their planet. Oh. Maybe we might have to go over there a little bit earlier. Because they're down to 18 million ground force, 17 million ground force now. Yeah, the Skylaxians are in a bad way. Gee, the Skylaxians just lost their last world. Oh no, I waited too long. But then again, they always were kind of holier than now. The Borines just captured a planet. That's all I have to say about that. I waited too long. Shoot. Uh... I didn't think they would fall quite that quickly. Shh. Okay then, that's... 
certainly puts us in a bad position. So the Borines have captured a planet. Uh, tech has been researched. The Ark, an extremely cursed artifact, has been destroyed during the fighting during the capturing of its planet. It's definitely for the best. Tech stolen from Skylaxians. Tech stolen. Tech stolen. And yeah. Alright, so the Skylaxians are now officially out of the picture. Which is not good news for us. Because now we're only left with three races in the Federation. I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is one that's going to end in a win for us. But either way, that's all the time we have for this episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. And so long.